Motorola Atrix HD expected third quarter 2012. The Motorola Atrix HD is a big screen, dual core Android smartphone that ships with Android 4.0 ICS, coming into Motorola's range at one step above the Motorola Razr. Initial indications are that the Atrix HD will ship to AT&T in the US and Bell in Canada, but there is nothing in the phone specifications that would prevent it from working with other carriers. The Atrix HD supports quad-band UMTS HSBA and GSM and dual-band LTE, so it should work worldwide. The main features of the Atrix HD are the 4.5-inch 720x1280 pixel display enhanced with colour boost technology that Motorola says gives the handset a more vibrant and sharper images. On the back is an 8 megapixel camera with 1080p video capture capabilities plus a 1.3 megapixel video calling camera on the front. Inside is a 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU coupled with 1 gigabyte of RAM. The Atrix HD has a micro SD slot, although it isn't clear how much flash memory it has internally. The Atrix HD has inherited the Kevlar back from the Razer, although it's a little thicker than the Razer at 8.4mm thick with a footprint of 134x70mm. The Atrix HD weighs 140g and comes with a 1780mAh battery. This is an Android 4.0 device, although remember that Android 4.1 is now available on some rival devices. And as such, it's dispensed with the physical buttons on the front, reserving an area of the screen for them instead. All the usual Android features are here, such as Wi-Fi, 3.5G support, GPS, Bluetooth and USB connectivity. There's a media player, but no FM radio, but there is an HDMI port, and when combined with a 720p HD display, this should be a very decent portable media player. Motorola have added several business-friendly features such as VPN support, although we suspect that the big battery Razer Max might be a better choice for many customers. There are also a wide range of accessories available including vehicle docks, media docks and netbook style lap docks. The Atrix HD will be available from AT&T this month and on Bell Canada during the summer. If you're in the market for one of these SIM-free, then at the moment you are out of luck. Although our guess is that it will be around 500 euro to 550 euro when or if it gets generally released worldwide.